That's with Kel. And then our cameraman, Rick, you know, doing his thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're doing the shark, of course. And we're doing the external anatomy of it. So we're going to start with the external nares. So basically, it's these, uh, these little holes right here, uh, I guess above his mouth. Basically, they're there to help him intake water whenever his mouth is closed to be used as a secondary, like, gill, you know, to help him breathe. After that, we have the spiracles. Um, there is this little hole above the eye. Basically, it's another way of the um, shark breathing whenever his mouth is closed. After that, just got the basic mouth. Another, even another way to help him take in water, to help him breathe, and to also eat. After this, we have the gill slit, which is another way <laughs> he can breathe. Uh, the vertical slits, um, they allow the water to exit from the gills. Um, then we have the lateral line, which is basically the line that goes through along like here. And it's just an extended, it, it just extends the pelvic fin, which is the, the lower one right here. After that, we have the claspers right here, which is basically the um, male shark part that helps them with reproduction. Then we have our fins. We have the first dorsal fin, the second dorsal fin, which is the back. Then we have the pel uh, the um, the pectoral, and then the pelvics with the claspers, and then the caudal fin, which is all the way in the back. Uh, after that, we have the rostrum. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Which is basically the uh, tip of the um, the head, which is the nose, you know. And it's just to get its figure. And then we have the dorsal spine, which basically connects the two, the first dorsal fin and then the second dorsal fin that um, helps them with uh, defense because it has a, um, a poison gland on it. So, yeah. That's basically our external anatomy of this shark. Look forward for that internal anatomy.